Hundreds of years ago, brilliant investors and philosophers considered flight, or at least the concept of flying through the air, impossible. Only in the past 100 years has flight not only been realized as possible, but also has been accomplished. Wright Brothers' flight inspired many to become involved in the aviation area. Frederick Rentschler was one of those people, always having a passion for airplanes and flight. Frederick Rentschler was a leader who started the Pratt & Whitney Aviation Company, which helped lead to the U.S.'s success in air during World War II. His leadership propelled Pratt & Whitney to become the preeminent leader in a field that was said to be doomed to failure. When World War I kicked off, Rentschler joined the Army as a first lieutenant, later getting promoted to captain. There, he inspected the liquid-cooled engines of planes. This was his introduction to the aviation field. He displayed leadership first in the war and then when he came back home to America. In 1925, Rentschler decided to pursue his passion for planes, so he contacted the Pratt & Whitney Machine Tool Company located in Hartford, Connecticut. It was here in Connecticut where Rentschler would complete most of his life's work. He made an agreement with them where they funded his idea of the air-cooled aircraft engine. This created the Pratt & Whitney Aircraft Company. Not only did Rentschler just produce these plane engines, but he also engineered new and improved ones himself. When starting the company, he used a new type of engine, an air-cooled radial engine, which he called the WASP. The engine was unlike any other engine. It weighed less than 650 pounds, which is about 300 pounds less than the liquid-cooled engines, and the WASP also had 425 horsepower. After passing qualifications in 1926, the Navy ordered 200 of these engines. These engines were used for private aircrafts, commercial aircrafts, and military aircrafts. While still in production, Rentschler engineered a new engine called the Hornet. This engine was 525 horsepower, even more powerful than the Wasp. The fact that Frederick Rentschler could produce a new engine that was significantly better than the other ones on the market and in such little time shows how dedicated he was to the business. It displays his leadership because he started his own company up from the ground and produced 200 military-ready engines in no time at all. Rentschler was not only interested in being in the military plane business, though. He also saw a big future for commercial plane flights. He then created the United Aircraft and Transport Corporation, United Airlines split, and Rentschler became chairman and chief executive officer of the new United Aircraft Corporation. Frederick Rentschler was able to manage two separate companies and still produce the highest quality engines of planes in the country. He was a dedicated and hardworking man who had lots of leadership shown through his ability to manage both companies successfully. When World War II came around, planes were at this point a huge component to wars. Frederick Rentschler believed the engine is the key to air superiority, making him a key component to the war. Throughout the war, Pratt & Whitney produced over one-third of a million engines dedicated to the military. This is around 50% of the engines used by the air forces. This is a huge amount and can even be considered a game changer in the results of the war. After the war, Rentschler didn't settle for just continuing to produce his current models. Like always, he looked to the future and this time he wanted Pratt & Whitney to be the leaders of the jet engine business. Rentschler had Pratt & Whitney produce first the Turbo Wasp jet engines. These engines were used in the top of the line jet fighters in the Air Force such as the Starfire Fighters. The engine that set apart Pratt & Whitney from all the rest of the companies, however, was the revolutionary J-57 jet engine. This engine provided twice as much thrust as any other jet engine on the market. This engine was using the B-57 Stratofortress, which was a strategic airplane that was greatly used in the Cold War. Later, the J-57 engine was used in commercial planes for faster travel. Throughout his life, Frederick Rentschler won numerous awards, such as the French Legion of Honor and the Air Force's Civilian Service Award. He provided multiple huge leaps in the quality of military and commercial plane engines and revolutionized the engineering behind flight. He had a vision of what he wanted to do, and through his leadership, he was able to work with others and use his own companies 
to turn his visions into a reality. Playing key roles in a number of important wars, Frederick Renshaw was a key figure in America's development. If we never had him, who knows whether flight would be the same today as we know it is to be. Frederick Rentschler died April 25th, 1956, but his legacy will remain with us for years to come.